Hello Wanderers, welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 roleplay series following Ismail of House Saidan. And he was an emir, but he will not be an emir for very much longer here as we finally have everything we need to accomplish our first goal. And that is to create or reform the Kingdom of the Maghreb here, which we can now do. We have all the titles that we need for it here. We did create the Emirate of Marrakesh, which gives us the two duchy titles. And then with that, we have everything. We've got tons of money and we can just click this button here. And we are now a mighty Malik. So there we go. That is pretty cool to see. Malik is male. We started off as a lowly sheikh and now we are a Malik. So that is that is cool to see. This is pretty much going to be the extent of our kingdom within our character's lifetime. We're not going to bother really pushing out of these borders unless something really, you know, changes in the story. But for now, I think that this is pretty much the extent. And we are just going to focus on developing the hell out of Fez and getting this to be the greatest city at least uh, in North Africa, but I'd like to potentially make it a rival of Cortuba itself here. 51 development. Look at this. They got so many buildings in here because their development is so high. Same with all of their little cities. But we could potentially, we I think we could outdo them here. You know, we've got actually five uh, holdings within this compared to Cortuba's four. We're already at 26 developments, actually going up quite fast, which means we will soon have what we need to build the university uh, once. So we'll need to start saving up some money at some point here. And as the development keeps going, we're going to get access to more and more buildings here. That includes for our holdings as well. So all of these are getting more. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty great city and it's going to become the core of this North African kingdom right here. So what do we do from here? Well, let's just take a quick look at some of these things. We do need a court position here. Lavorka is average, fine, that's fine. We'll take that for now. Um, let us see, do we need to do anything important here? Demand payments, money would be good, but I don't wanna use uh, take them from our son here. All right, so let's, uh, we also need to give away some of these titles. Yeah, that's for sure. We've got way more than we need here. So let's start giving some away. Uh, we could give some to our, to our sons here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, so here's the thing, and I'm probably gonna put this to a poll now because we are at, Crown Authority level four. I don't remember actually doing this myself, but we are apparently at Crown Authority level four, which means we can designate our heir. So the question is, do we make our heir or do we keep our heir as Prince Issa ibn Ismail here, our eldest son, who's, you know, a hunter. He is hale. He's quick. Saeed, of course, uh, his traits, trusting, brave, shy. So not the best traits, but overall, he's pretty good. He's got, you know, decent diplomacy, decent martial. You know, all of his stats are pretty decent. And he could end up being even better if he goes to university. That's going to boost up his insightful thinker to another learning level. And he could potentially get some other good things. So, And he's already got three kids. So, you know, he could be a good character. Uh, or do we want to make our heir Prince Nasir Ibn Ismail? Now, he might not have any amazing uh, traits or anything like that in terms of his uh, inherited traits, but he does have Confider here, which is actually kind of nice to start off with, that stress loss. But his, his uh, traits, personality traits here are quite decent. Brave, temperate, and gregarious, not to mention he is a fortune builder. Fortune builder would be pretty good with what we are doing right here, considering we are developing Fez like this. So he doesn't have those inherited traits, 
but the rest of his stuff is actually really nice. So Prince Nasir, potentially a very good option. Then we have Prince Christopher. Uh, now, this is also a pretty good option. I mean, his stats are not too bad, but his traits are also quite good. I mean, he's got just, he's got brave, he's got ambitious, and we don't know what his uh, education level is going to end up being. He's taking that diplomacy education. So diplomacy, you know, we could play that diplomatic game a little bit with this character. Um, but he does have, he is handsome, which is good, and he is... Uh, betrothed to a cousin of the family here who is also uh, handsome or pretty. Uh, so these two traits could intensify and become the third level, which is pretty good. Uh, so there is that possibility indeed. And then finally, the last one is kind of a wild card here. Prince Kamran Ibn Ismail. And he is impatient and generous but his stats are actually building up pretty good considering he's 12 years old, but not very high learning. Um, Saeed, this character I imagine would be a bit of a dark horse uh, if he ended up winning. I imagine it's going to come down to Prince Issa, Prince Kam Nasir, or Prince Christopher here. But we shall see. Maybe uh, Kamran will surprise us. So I'm going to leave a poll after the end of this episode so that you guys can choose who we shall designate our heir as, and that's who that's who it shall be. Um, I think that it's understandable that a character like Malik Ismail would not just simply hold to purely the traditions. He would be looking to see who is going to be the best, uh, the best true heir, and he would trust that his sons would understand this. You know, he. Uh, was with his brothers and they w they got along quite well. I mean, all of his brothers ended up submitting to his rule. And so, yeah, I think that that is uh, quite fine. So here, let's see. I mean, we should, we can probably give our, our sons some land. So let's give you, he is the heir to Sabta. Let's see, two more titles. Let's see. All right, we can give you Subta. That should be fine. Grab titles. Shake them of Subta. There you go. So he will be one of our vassals here. Um, let's see. We'll wait on giving Christopher any. Um, we'll probably give out this to somebody else. Let's see. Saki Rusht. Uh, he's got pretty decent uh pretty decent stats here so there we go we'll give him these lands here and let's see we need to get rid of three more so we'll probably give out this one as well we shall grant that to Rashid Ibn Lub al oh okay he is the heir to the Walaya of uh Talit which, you know what, we could probably, hmm, here's a question. Do we revoke his title? He will accept, he would lose 80 opinion of us, but we're gonna give you a better title, so. Uh, we're gonna give you a better title. Invite to court, he will accept. There we go, we're gonna invite him back, we're gonna have to give him. I don't think he will, he will really mind this, you know? Uh, oh, he became a charismatic negotiator. That's pretty good. So, yeah. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, let's see. Lube has returned to our court. Good. Uh, I think he under he knows what we were doing here. You know, so I think that should be fine. Empty throne. Oh, yes, we got to do a, a royal visit here. We are going to grant you a title here. Let's see, we want to give you Tamansa. There we go. And let's move this, grant titles. There you go. So you went from being, you know, you're now a Sheikh. So that was a, a bit of a promotion there, I dare say. All right, well, well, we are reclusive. Now we should probably pay a royal visit here. Oh wow, three events going on already. Let's take a look at all these. The Gallant Faris. 
My steward, Sheikh Harun, has excelled during our recent battles, and my court is buzzing with an excitement. What an accomplished Faris. What a role model. What a man. With all the praise or raining down on him, it, it is made clear that I am expected to officially reward him in some minute. Hey, I will speak well. He shall be the new lord of the Sheikhdom of Malila. Ah, <laughs> he will be gifted gold for his achievements. Um, yeah, let's gift him the gold. He does deserve a reward. I think we can all agree. Royal Laps. The pageantry of court continues day after day from dawn till dusk. Lavorka extemporizes on my greatness, spouting platitudes and praises. Nearby, Sheikh Lot joins in, playing to the crowd, grinning stupidly and expecting a sign of my favor for his antics. A deep, instant desire to retire to the solace of my chambers and lock the door slowly builds, gnawing at my mind and distracting my attention. Alone, a bead of sweat tickles interminably down my brow. Lavorka notices my distance, inquiring, Are you all right, my lord? With almost a genuine concern. Very good. Uh, forgive me, I have other business to attend to. Now I think we shall still... We will tolerate, but only as long as etiquette, as etiquette demands. Then what do we have here? My daughter Shakira, sitting on the floor, surrounded by spilled paint and pieces of canvas for the third time this month. My courtiers whisper about her being an artistic genius in the making. But the servants complain of scrubbing the floors. Um, yes, I think we are going to nurture our daughter's artistic genius and not uh, and not waste our time uh, with the servants here. You should probably, before we hold court, do we have any court artifacts? We can put up the shield. Let's put it up over here. We'll need to get ourselves a dynasty banner and things like that if we can. And here we go. Let's see. Can we afford... We can afford a slight increase, I imagine, in our court. It's going to cost us an extra one coin, but, you know, we're not going to be the greatest court in the world. But I think we'll be a decent court. There we go. So, Yeah, outmoded fashion, modest food, small lodging. We just built this court. We, you know, we've got a little ways to go. We are... A scullery court, as you might have noticed there. Oh, I'm going to pause time here quickly. Uh, let us go back to our royal court. You'll see that we are a, a scullery court, which is good. That's exactly what we want. So yeah, let us let us hold court here. And here are our petitioners. Gesture for the person in line to approach. A peasant steps forward, carrying a petition. My liege, I have come to you as a representative of the Baranis from the Wilaya of al Alia. Uh, the peasant briefly pauses his rehearsed speech. Our plea to see an important monument of our culture restored was ignored by the Walia. It is actively hindering us from rebuilding. My liege, allow me to explain. This monument makes a mockery of our culture. It depicts Andalusians as monsters. Surely you can see why I would oppose the restoration of such a hateful monument. You dare make a mockery of my people? You will regret this. Oof. Uh... Hoo -hoo -hoo. Can, I don't know about this. Consider that, uh, considering displeased peasants, but I really want to, I don't know if I want to do this. 145. Oh, wow. We're making way more money now. That's crazy. Uh, pleased peasants. Oh, this is rough. The cultural acceptance goes down. Hmm. You know what? I think that we refuse the request from the Baranis. I don't think we have much other choice here. It seems my vassal Sheikh Haroon has been nursing a temper while awaiting an audience. My lord, I cannot abide your tolerance of heretics like Prince Abd al-Majid in the realm, even among, amidst the nobility. Allah has made his demands plain on us. Maghreb should be a land of the faithful, only out with these Ashari dogs. Um, no, I don't think about that. I judge a man by their quality, not by their beliefs. While he is may Isli uh, approaches me with a straighter posture than usual, visibly eager about what he has to say. My liege, there is much to celebrate under your rule. Please allow me to pay for the expenses of your next feast. Perhaps in return you would grant me this favor. No strings attached. Your liege demands it. Um, Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, do that. This is the arrogant option. Uh, let us do so. And there we get some of our money back, which is nice because we just lost a bunch of money here. So... There we go. We need to give away 
two more. We'll give away Hunyan, and I think that we shall give it to hmm, is our son. Yeah, let's see. Let's give it to uh Christopher here. Yeah, that should be fine. I'd like I'd like for him to learn to to rule here, so give him that. Grant him those titles. So, uh, our sons, they get landed when they come of age. And there we go, six out of six. Perfect, that is exactly what we need. We're making quite a bit of money here, so let us, let us go here. Let us pick the, the focus that we need here. Open-minded, oh, that is nice. Yeah, look at this cultural acceptance gain, plus 20%. So, we still have two goals. One is to kind of reform our religion and also to uh, reform our culture. So we are Andalusian, but we want to merge with the Baranis culture. So is that possible at the current time? Let us see. Baranis, 37%. So we, need, we do need to increase it a little bit. So we are going to put our, our steward here to uh, promote cultural acceptance with the Baranis people. You can stop development for a little while. That should be fine. Uh, which should get us probably a little bit closer here. Let's see. Yeah, so it's going to increase pretty quickly here. And that should get us what we need there. And then for our religion. Well, we are going to... So there's two steps to this, to our religion and I talked about this in previous episode so uh, the plan is first to convert to Mualadiism and that is going oh and look because Zaidi is uh converting here that's eh, that's fine um, but we want to convert to this so that when we create a new faith when we create a new faith here we will have the same holy sites as Mualadi, which will Cortuba and Subu, which is good because Subu is in Fez, and then we will be able to build that grand temple here. We're going to incorporate some of the elements of Zaidi into some of the elements of Mualadi, and maybe even some Ashari uh, as well, and kind of create our own little culture, our own little uh, religion that's kind of very specific to this region here, so. Uh, but we do still need to wait a little bit, and we're gonna need to build up some, some more piety for this as well. Boiling anger. Give as good as I get. Oh, our wife has become our rival. Huh. She lashed out, lashed out in frustration. Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is, as I always say. We're probably gonna need to do a pilgrimage here. Um, but all of our pilgrimages are going to be very long. But, oh, university visit. Yeah, that's not going to really help us that much right now though. Um, I think the pilgrimage is what's gonna give us the piety and we're gonna need that piety to do our plan. We could do a pious pilgrimage. Let's see. I don't know if we do it again. I don't know if we need to do the Hajj again. We could just do a pilgrimage to somewhere like slightly closer. Like, you know, it could be good to go and see Jerusalem. Unique Muslim holy site, unvisited holy site, very far away. Damascus could be good. I think we're going to go to Jerusalem here. We need a caravan master. Everybody's very bad at it. Um, let's see if we can see if we can go and hire a better caravan master. This is the plan, though. We are going to go on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem to build up that piety, to see more of the world, and that's going to give us what we need to kind of complete everything. And in the meantime, we're building up that building up that cultural acceptance with the Baranis, and then we shall reform the culture as well. 
So let us look for a caravan master. We need a good one. Start the search. So let's see if we can find somebody very suitable for the position here. Abdul Rahman seems to be a fine choice, apparently. Kasim will do. No, we're going to. Oh, wow. Kasim. No, we don't need a coward. Uh, Abdul Rahman. Oh, no. Apparently, Abdul Rahman is actually, yeah, the better. So we'll accept him. It's going to cost us a little money here. We're going to need to probably build up some money. Yeah, 20, 20 per turn is quite good. Show and shake love. Ah, and he's come to show us, uh, pledge his knee. Serve me well. There we go. Thank you. I actually, and since we do have this title here, the Duchy of Marrakesh, we gave Marrakesh to our friend Prince Abd al-Majid, but maybe we make him, you know, we got, we should honor him with a, a strong title here. So we could give him the Emirate of Marrakesh. That will make him quite powerful. But I think that this will be helpful for us. It reduces our money quite a bit here, actually. But I'm okay with that. I think it's I think it's fitting that we would honor our best friend with a you know some extensive land here. So uh, he can he will serve us well as our vassal here. But oof, we've been overwhelmed by stress once again. We need a new marshal. Our son Issa. Yeah, actually, is fine for that position. We might put Christopher in charge as our chancellor, fire the Wali, because he is quite good at it. You can see he's already 18. So that is not so bad. Got a pretty good court here. Oh, oh no, love must have died or not. No, no, he didn't die. Oh, I see. We got a new because we gave him that title and he left. We do need somebody a little bit better for this position. Let's see. I think we'll put in Sheikh Abdullah Ibn Abi Salom. There we go. That is our half brother here. He should be fine for that position. Court Grandier is going up. We got that money saved up. And yeah, let's uh, let's see about that pilgrimage here. Average cost is five hundred and twenty, but we don't really need to. Worldly pilgrimage. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Ah, we do have to earn that extra piety, but I think our character has this idea of, you know, developing his, the religion and the science and the philosophy, kind of melding this all into one, and he needs to learn more on the religious side of things before he can present these reforms to his people. So he's going out with the intent to learn, and that's why we are going to take the pious one there. Uh, reflection, altruism, zealotry. Um, I don't think that we are going to do zealotry. That doesn't necessarily fit for our character. Um, reflection though does. So let us let us do that. Wow, there's a lot of danger, but I'm guessing most of that danger is probably sea danger. Yeah, there we go. So getting those experienced captains really reduces it uh, quite a bit. And then if we get some mountaineers. Yeah, there we go. No danger at all. 462, it's going to cost us. We should probably bring, let's see, fidelity. Travel speed is increased. You will earn less piney. No, uh, let's bring a humble, humble bodyguard. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't know if we would do this. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just let some time pass. The money should uh, come very quickly. We'll keep all everything set up the way we have it right here. Oh no, we're getting quite old here. How long will I have to wait? We are not near death yet though, but we are going to attempt to complete this pilgrimage and, and do our plan here before we die. We need to join in a war very well. Uh, I will send my troops over there shortly. I'm just kind of waiting for Waiting for our money to build up. Somebody's wanting to kill Wali. That's fine. I think two more months here. And then we should be fine. Christopher's first pawns. As I discuss some court affair with my son Christopher, he abruptly starts discussing his childhood. Father, you cared for me like a hound minds its pups. Better even. My earliest, fondest memories were with you. 
When I spoke my first words, you held me so close. He blushes, beaming. I'll pass the loving care on to my fan. Oh, well, role model parent. Such devotion. Uh, we could get a weak hook. Dwell not on the past. No, I and I love you, my son. Indeed, we do. We do love our son, do we not? All right, let's... One more month here, and then we should... Oh, where? there we go. We can start the pilgrimage now. Uh, so we're going to do so, even though we are quite old. You know, we have the people to to help us, help care for us uh, in the meantime, anyways. Oh, wow, you're looking pretty, pretty tough there in this year. Preparing for the journey? Let's see. Yeah, let's go. So I think we should be... Oh, and we do need to raise our armies to assist our ally here. And let us... Let us head over. Not sure exactly what kind of war they're... F oh, he's fighting Al Sark. The conquest of the Sheikdom of Mercia. Oh, that's unfortunate for the small kingdom of Al Sark here, but they won't last very long. Out here, late at night, I sometimes look through the stars and wonder, what is our purpose in life? Can Allah even see me this far from home? What am I doing all this for? Could lose a 40 stress. Yeah, that's going to be very good for us right now. Theatrical pilgrimage. Um, It is my sacred duty. I don't know. I think what I truly want is to enjoy and experience other cultures. Indeed, it's a large part of why we came. So there we go. That's helping our stress level. Even though we are infirm, we're still only at poor. So poor health. So we should be okay. For a little while longer. I think we will survive. I think we'll be able to pull off at least some of our goals here. But it is a question of... Oh, a derelict ship. Let's investigate. Yeah, we're still a little bit of a daredevil, are we not? We find nothing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Prince Avj al-Majid. Ah, he has become our mar... Oh, wow. I don't mind you becoming our marshal. You're actually... Very good at that, although you kicked our son out of the position. And this war is pretty much done. We didn't even really need to do anything to help, so... Uh, reflection, sea legs. Oh, this is going to be very good for us. Um, because not only do we get Wise Man, which should... Give us a nice little bonus here to learning. Yeah, I think that that is... And we are this kind of medicine man, so walking around the ship on our journey to Jerusalem, spot a fellow pilgrim who does not seem to be doing very well. Clearly, his sig legs were never instilled. He went from softly squatting by the railing and holds onto it for dear life with a face, face that shifts in pale nuances. I can only sympathize with him. Why do we put ourselves through these sometimes life-threatening perils? There we go. So we have some herbs for that. Wise man, excellent. That is quite good. That's going to bring us even closer to the next one, apostate. So that's going to lower our faith conversion cost by quite a bit, which is good for when we convert over to Muwaladi. So we will convert over here. So it's going to reduce it by 75%. So it's going to go from to like less than 500. So that will save us a lot of money when it comes to our to our conversion costs here. We'll just hold back here and we'll gather up with the allied army. Uh, okay, let's see. They're coming for us. Can we escape here? Let's try. Anyways. No, we got caught here. My daughter has given birth to a son. Huh. Wild out. He was born out of wedlock. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. May grow to be strong and wise, I suppose, but... Well, that is... Yeah, that is rather unfortunate. Oof, our army uh, got caught here. And Shakira has come of age as well. They grew up fast. Oh, and she's well learned. We do need to find a spouse for her. Not Malik Jawar. Perhaps Hakam, let's see. Prince Atrad of Navarra. That seems good. Yeah, let's get the let's get that Navarran one. 
A lot of things going on the screen right now. All right, so our army uh, forced into retreat, but we did try to uh, did try to assist our ally. Looks like they're probably once they get this siege done, it should all be done. Sheikh Christopher's staunch and unimpeachable reputation has earned him the respect of many. Often called to adjudicate disputes, he is perceived by many as embodying the spirit of divine justice that is so central to Zaidi dogma. But is he doing it for Allah or for fame? Well, I have a feeling Prince Christopher here is increasing in the scales of who we are going to potentially designate as our heir, which I think we still can do. Uh, let's see. We should be able to do it anyways. Oh, probably once we get home. In any case, uh, fish in the sea, let us do, not today, we lose 30 stress. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep that stress down. Reflection, empires of yesteryear here in Yaffa, I have seen countless reminders of ancient Hebrews who once journeyed here as their promised land. The ancient temples once stood as places, uh, places of worship to the Lord. We should comp contemplate the old empires. Yeah, we could lose some stress, imperial contemplation. Gain some piety. Contemplate ancient faiths. Hmm. Pilgrimage becomes more pious. Could be good. Yeah, we're not even anywhere close to the first level of piety here, Nina. But uh, I think we should contemplate old empires. That just seems to fit with our character here. Education comes to an end. Yeftin has come of age. Thrifty color. All right, so let's see here. No other city in the world quite has a history like Jerusalem. In addition to the many holy sites there, the city contains the Haram Es Sharif, or the, the site where Muhammad ascended to heaven after his time on earth. Uh, I have walked the holy path. There we go. We'll spend some time here. Let's see if we can get up to level one. We're going to get enough piety anyways, but... This doesn't look very authentic. We seem to have somebody seems to be hawking us something that is not authentic. Oh no. Yeah, if we can get to level one, that would be nice. Man built this place, not divinities. Ah, cynical. Also, lowering our stress is helpful as well. I know, let us enjoy this. Man built this place, not the divinities. Yeah, I suppose we say that because we are cynical. Our stress is nice and reduced now, so we should be okay. We still have to pick traits and options that fit with our character here. Uh, as I walk into the mosque, a formidable guilt comes upon me. The light illuminating the altar like a sunny summer day is so dense that I could feel like I could touch it. What kind of life am I living? What kind of Malik would, could I be? Or father or son? Uh, if I don't change my irritable nature, the only light I'll see will that be that of the fires of hell. Oh, yeah, there we go. So our pilgrimage becomes... Oh, yeah, okay, we can do that. We can take that stress to lose irritable, I think. Even though that is not the worst trait for us. All right, our sacred, our time at the sacred site is coming to an end. We gain a reasonable amount of piety here. Finish the pilgrimage. I think that that is quite acceptable, honestly. I don't think we need to be too sad about that at all. Oof. Hit by stress, though. Maybe I'll walk to my getaway here. Yeah, you know what? Let's take a little let's take a little walk here. Good thing we have that athletic trait. We can get another perk here. Apostate. Perfect. And then I don't think we're going to live long enough to make it to profit to get that nice reduction there. But we might end up having just enough prestige to do what we need to do. Our daughter's Oh boy. Princess Saada has just been... Yeah, you can't stop her. That's for sure. In any case. Not sure where our allies are. Where the heck are their armies? Why are you not trying to fight your enemies here? Uh, anything else important we need to do? A lot of this stuff we will take care of later and i think we will take care of it in the next episode because we are basically ready to do the things we need to do acceptance is high so we can potentially go and 
go back to increasing development here. And then once the that is done, once we get the cultural do stuff done and potentially the religious stuff done too, we'll all have been a good life for Malik Ismail. But let me know in the comments down below who you think is going to end up being the heir to the House of Zaidan. And we shall have to see that in the next episode. But until then, Wanderers, thank you for watching.